It's May 15th of 1965. On a warm spring day in the Kansas High School State Meet, Jim Ryan would set a record that was so incredible that it would endure for almost exactly 57 years. Over the following four laps, Ryan achieved what many have called the greatest solo high school performance ever, as he finished this one-mile race in 3 minutes 58.30 seconds, exclusively against other high school athletes. This was an unprecedented moment in high school running. Just one year earlier, Ryan actually became the first prep athlete to ever break four for the one-mile distance. However, in this particular race in 1964, he was running against a professional field, which very much aided him in breaking the four-minute barrier. This sub-four-minute clocking was still an iconic moment in high school sports, but to break four completely alone, with no one else even in camera shot, is a completely different story. For this high school-only record, Ryan achieved quarter-mile splits of 58.3, 62.5, 61.8, and 55.7 seconds. As you can see, his first and final laps were far and away the fastest, meaning that his pacing strategy here was certainly not the best. However, he still managed a time of 3 minutes and 58 seconds. Since 1965, almost six decades in the past, this moment has stood as the high school-only record, and given the improvements over the years in shoe technology, track services, and overall running knowledge, this makes this moment one of the most historic and borderline untouchable achievements in all of high school sports. However, on May 14th of this season, just one calendar day before Ryan set his record back in 1965, we saw one very special athlete achieve something so undeniably amazing that many thought that it would never happen. At the 2022 Philadelphia Catholic League Championships, Gary Martin from Archbishop Wood made an attempt at the legendary high school mile record. Now, building up to this race, Martin had been running extremely well for 2022, hitting an indoor mile time of 4 minutes 2.34 seconds, and he had also run an outdoor mile best of 4 minutes 00.95 seconds, less than one second away from breaking the 4 minute barrier. These times placed Martin in a solid position to go after Ryan's 3 minute and 58 second record, but it would still take a legendary effort to achieve this time, and it was also very likely that he would be going after this record completely alone. For the first quarter mile of this race, Martin hit a time of 59.67 seconds, followed by a second quarter of 58.80. At this point in the race, his lead was massive, about 50 meters in front of everyone else. And at the halfway mark, this put Martin at a time of 1 minute 58.47 seconds, which is a pretty solid split for a professional race. And this also meant that if he could run his final two laps in just under two minutes time, he would be able to take down one of the longest standing records in all of running history. For his third quarter split, Martin stayed very consistent at 59.88, and for his final quarter mile, he showcased world-class strength, hitting his final quarter in 59.63 seconds, finishing this race in 3 minutes 57.98 seconds, amazingly taking down Jim Ryan's record by just over 3 tenths of a second. This performance also made Martin now one of only 14 high school athletes to ever break the 4-minute barrier, but unlike most of them, he did this with no pace setters, which is certainly a much more challenging task. Now, it should be noted that when Ryan ran his 358 back in 1965, the sport of track and field was extremely different. From shoes to track surfaces to the athletes themselves, things were far from optimized as compared to today's standards. Even with far from ideal technology, Ryan still achieved some of the most timeless accomplishments in high school sports. However, after 57 long years, Gary Martin did what many thought would never happen, breaking Jim Ryan's record with a time of 3 minutes 57.98 seconds, with no pacers up front. This season, we have already seen two high schoolers dip under the 4 minute mile, and these two include Gary Martin and Colin Salmon of Newberry Park. If these two have the opportunity to race this season, I would be very interested to see who would take the victory, because while Martin's time was slightly faster than Salmon's sub-4, Salmon closed his final 200 in under 28 seconds. Then again, Martin had no competition and still ran a 357. This matchup would be very interesting to watch, and with the 2022 season now reaching its most intense few months, I have one final question for you all. Who would win over the one-mile distance? 
Colin Salmon from Newberry Park, or Gary Martin from Archbishop Wood? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.